Greetings and welcome to another preview video here at Words About Games, a series where I give my live impressions of a game in beta, early access, or that I've gotten a demo for uh, while I'm playing it. Today we're looking at Forgone, a 2D action platformer with a heavy focus on loot. So the first thing that you're probably going to think while I'm playing this game, and the first thing I thought when I saw the game advertised is, this looks a lot like Dead Cells. And yeah, it kind of does look a lot like Dead Cells, um, but there's, there's, how to put this, um, it's not, basically. Um, for starters, it's not a roguelike. Uh, it is very much a, a straight action platformer with loot. Um, so I'm going to play some of it while I talk to you about it. Um, my, my overall like impressions of having played the game for a couple hours or so far is that it's good and I enjoy it. Um, but it does have some issues. And I'm going to talk about both the things I enjoy, obviously, and the things that I don't. Um... But keep in mind when I'm talking about things that are issues or things that I don't particularly like about the game, it launched in early access last week. So I give it the benefit of the doubt because when I'm going to be talking about the issues, the core of the game is really solid. And it's something that can be really easily built upon. Um, and I think that I, I, the, I get the, ben the benefit of the doubt of the developers basically because of what's already here. So it's very much an action platformer. You've got your melee attack, you've got a couple of special attacks. I was supposed to equip a different one, and I was supposed to jump there. Go figure. A um, bunch of different types of enemies. Half of the game is figuring out how to deal with different combinations of enemies. Because it's loot focused, um, you get a bunch of different types of weapons, and you kind of have to build. Oh shit! I was facing one, and you kind of have to build your loadout. Um, so right now I'm running a shotgun and swords. You can see I've got some stuff in my inventory. Um, we'll talk about inventory and gear and stuff later. I've got some thoughts on that. Right now I just want to play the game. Um, this game is challenging. <laughs> it's definitely one way to describe it. Turns around. That guy. Sometimes that platform's got like harder enemies. There's harder enemies that glow in blue, and sometimes this platform has them on them. Um, yeah, so that's one of the parts where it's not a roguelike. It is very hard, um, and you will die a lot, um, but death rules out in this game follow along more to Dark Souls than a rogue. So that guy's got a machine gun there. I'm just gonna jump over him. Um, where you just, you drop a bunch of stuff. Ah, shotgun. Did nothing. Just gonna skip past these two. I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to get to a point where I can pull a lever so I can get through a door. That's basically what I'm trying to do right now. When you die, you lose a bunch of stuff. You can see in the top left hand of the corner, you can see my health, you can see my ammo. Ammo's a really cool feature. It recharges on your melee. So you've got to kind of have a mixture of of melee attacks and ranged attacks. Like you can't just run around in my case shotgunning everything. I was I'm really glad out. I'm really glad he uh, ow. never managed to get underneath that. I don't know why. I am getting my ass kicked. And I haven't even reached the hard part yet. I've died a bunch of times to this. Um, wait for you to climb up the wall. Shotgun you. Two shot flat. Okay. The combat is really slick. Like, it's very challenging. Um, it's all about, again, like I'm probably going to reference Dark Souls a couple of times. I'm not saying this is the Dark Souls of 2D action platformers or anything. Um, don't worry, I'm not bringing that meme back. But, there are a lot of, oh shit, similarities. Oh my god. These turrets are a pain. 
can't slide past them. So you can slide past enemies as like a dodge. Turrets uh, occupy a physical space that you can't slide past. It's oh god, oh god, and this is where I die every single time. You're going to see that a bit in this video. I apologize. I'm still getting to grips with the game. Um, I've only been playing it for a couple of months. So. so yeah, it's very much like you have to anticipate. You have to, you have to learn the enemies, essentially. You have to learn how they, how they move, how they attack, when the best time to attack them is. When the best time to do this is a run away because, holy crap, machine guns. When to commit, when to... Oh, God. Oh, my God. This section is ridiculous. Ow! I swear I'm good at video games. Come on. Please. Just let me pull this fucking lever. So my gold went up. I don't like that. Like if I like see Okay, I'm trying to it's very hard to talk while I play in this game. So you have to learn and manage enemy attacks. And the way they attack and the way they move. And then you have to manage that as they come in different groups and different combinations. So this is like the basic enemy, it's like the first enemy you meet. I always run into his fist. It's really annoying. Timing your dodges is important. We're just gonna skip past this particular section. And it's very difficult to get it right. <laughs> Falling out glass cloud, I'm just gonna jump down here. Kill you, kill you. Miss you. So it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to fight um, and learn. Oh god, I'm gonna die. These turrets are absolutely murdering me. Um. Now here's the problem. Now here's my first sort of quirk with the game. Um, and again, I'm going to reference Dark Souls. So, the game is based around... Again, it's nothing to do with the combat. I love the combat. Um, it's difficult, but not impossible. Um, if you know what you're doing. And I do know what I'm doing, despite you know video evidence to the contrary. But where the game, at the moment, is falling down for me, and where it's going to be a case of, I'm going to leave it for a bit, and wait for the developers to update it, it is in how the loot system works. So I said at the beginning of the video that this game has a heavy focus on loot. So here it is. Here's my loot screen. I've got my melee weapons. I've got my ranged weapons. I've got my armor. I've got rings. Oh, fucking hell. It's a bit, it's a bit twitchy. Um, I've got my rings and I've got my emblems. And on top of like weapons doing damage, armor doing blah, and giving you health and protecting you and stuff like that. Like they have like special modifiers a lot of them especially when you start getting the rare stuff like it's all in rarity so you got your basic level armor your blue armor your purple armor i haven't seen any gold yet but i'm assuming it exists in the game um and you upgrade it at the forge which is over here so you can see i can upgrade i can upgrade this short sword for 720 gold i don't have 720 gold i just dropped a butt lot of gold um there are different types of weapons that do different they do like different, they have like different attacks, like the daggers are really fast, the short sword what I'm using is sort of in between, and there's a falchion, which is like a heavy weapon, I don't like moving that slowly in a video game, especially at one as hard as this, and so you use gold to upgrade stuff. Now, the issue with the gold is, you drop so much when you die, and upgrades begin to cost a lot of money, so it kind of ends up in this feedback loop where progression can stagnate. So, like I said, I've been trying to get through that area for a little while, 
and I'm struggling because really because I need to upgrade like I need to, to get more powerful and you don't really level up in Fogon. the other resource the blue resource is for your skill tree and you spend skill trees allocating like skills it's a really interesting skill tree actually so each row each of these three rows that I have unlocked so far once you select one path of the two the other one becomes locked and you can't use it so you've got to make decisions it's really interesting but you lose so much that it's not a case of when you die you get more powerful like in a rug like it's a case of when you die you kind of you've got to go back through everything again get all the gold hope you don't die this time um and if you're at sort of a, a point where you need to be a little bit more powerful to sort of stand just that little bit extra damage or do that little bit extra damage um or you want to, or you want to get a skill that'll just, just nudge your health or your damage or, or your special abilities a little bit higher. You, you have to start grinding. So it's unfortunate. I want to equip this other skill. Actually, I don't have very much. Um, it's kind of unfortunate in that way. Um, I'm just gonna go right back to the to the first waypoint. Because you kind of end up getting stuck. And it's a similar situation with the different weapons. Like, for example, I have this shotgun. I have upgraded it to level 4, so it's pretty powerful. You can see me one-shotting or almost one-shotting a lot of enemies. There's another shotgun here with a different special ability. 6% chance to gain, 25 on life kill. That is really something I really want. However, I would have to invest thousands of gold to get it on a, to get that shotgun on a par with the shotgun that I currently have equipped. And the issue there is as I'm doing that, I'm not upgrading any other pieces of my equipment. So I'm kind of I'm at a standstill in terms of power progression. And I'm it's not the system I'm particularly bothered about. Like, the system's fine, I just think the balance is a little bit off. Because you can... Oh shit. Really get stuck. Should have done that. You can really get sort of stuck in a loadout and not getting more powerful. Unless you start running back and grinding and doing all that. And I mean, the game is fun enough that... It doesn't wholly suck to like just do what I'm doing right now and just Ow, I always run that guy's face. Did like oh shit, I'm gonna get shot. Yeah, that's one thing I really dislike. You get when you get damaged, you just stop moving. And it's really annoying when you're jump, trying to jump to a platform and you get shot. And you just stop and fall. <laughs> So yeah, there's like there's different weapon types, and it, it, it suffers from oh shit, it suffers from the same problem as upgrades. So like if I wanted to switch to say like there's long there are long bars in the game, and they're pretty good, actually. Um, I just I switched to a shotgun because it does monstrous amounts of damage if you get up close. And, but like, I kind of think like for the section that I'm stuck in, maybe a more long range option would, would be good, would be better, would be like, make me a bit more likely to get past the section that I'm stuck on. Unfortunately, I'd be in the same situation where it's like, I'm not getting any more powerful. In fact, if I start using the long bow, I'm getting significantly less powerful. Um, that was not who I was aiming at. Thanks. Just let you do your thing. Ow, oh, what the hell hit me there? So it's, it, it's a bit hit and miss. Um, it's in early access, so I'm sure like they'll change it. Maybe that's exactly how they intended it. 
uh, for it to work. And I'm just complaining about something that's a feature rather than something that, you know, they'll be looking to our balance later on in the game. Be a shame if they It'd be a shame if they didn't, is all I'm saying, because I feel like that's what's holding the game... What, for me, currently, in, in this early access phase, is holding the game back from being awesome. Like, right now, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, but it's not awesome. And again, it's an early access, so I'm not judging it too harshly. Oops. So there's one of those more powerful enemies I was talking about. There, blue. They drop better loot, which can lead to a real conundrum when it's like, oh, but this loot is better, but also not better. Simultaneously. Like, luckily it's all blue. <laughs> so it's fine. Like, I get a big drop off. Like, if I was to switch weapons, like, there's a pistol here. You know, it's like, maybe I want to try the pistol out. No, the drop off is huge. I can't. Yeah, they can shoot through platforms and I can't. I'm not not a fan. Uh, sometimes really does feel like I've just got a tank damage. Ow. Ow. Fuck yourself, game. Hell, one of the reasons I even upgraded and stuck with the shotgun is because I upgraded to a point where I could one-shot those gunners. They're so annoying. I mean, the map, the, one of the things that, like, the map's pretty linear, right? It, it, it just is. You just, you go, like, occasionally, occasionally you'll have to branch off to open a open a door so that in this area that door was was locked out to go up here fight through my way through a bunch of bad guys pull a lever and then the doors open and there's some really cool little uh, there's some really cool like touches to it like the game is based around very few waypoints, and at first I was like, there's not very many waypoints, this is really challenging, like, and I was just trying to push forward and get to the next waypoint, and that's not really how Foregone works, I don't think it's how it's supposed to work, because when you're unlocking doors, you're also unlocking doors back, so if the idea is you pull a lever, open a door, you go back, and then you upgrade your stuff with the resources that you have. I've got gold, but I don't know how much anything costs in the world. I really want to upgrade my armor so I can survive a little bit longer. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Ah. Oh, that was kind of badass. Also, the slide goes on a lot. And when you're playing a game that is a platformer, you can slide, you basically, you, you can have to choose between sliding through an enemy off a platform or holy crap not sliding at all so this is the groups of, of enemies I was talking about you can sometimes come across big groups of enemies <laughs> who are very high level and they will mess you up if you are not prepared to fight and fight hard And unfortunately, I have locked myself into a place now where I need to get right up in their faces. To be fair, like, you've, you might have heard the term push forward combat from Doom, right? And that, that's kind of a thing here, too, where it's like, if you go backwards, you're probably you're gonna get slaughtered. Like, when someone shoots you, and I'm still trying to get 
<coughs> excuse me, I'm still trying to get out of Why do I have that equipped? Um I'm still trying to get out of the habit of running away from bullets. You need to slide on them. If you're on away, you're probably gonna get hit because angles geometry and stuff. Geometry? Geometry is the thing I'm thinking of, right? You end up with all this gear and it's basically just gold sitting in your inventory. So I now have 1521. See, I really could do with upgrading that emblem. It'll give me more health. It'll give me more damage resistance and it'll increase my damage. Everything goes up when you upgrade something. So I'm going to upgrade my armor. And I should have enough to upgrade my shots. So there we go. So I've been just doing these kinds of things where I've been running through the old levels to try and upgrade my self, uh, essentially. Um, so I have 150, so I could upgrade that. Like, I could get something completely new. Explosive charge, tether. Do I have, what's my gear look like in terms of... So nothing really that increases my special abilities. And then I've got two other pages and I don't want that for you. I just, I... Who knows? So now it's kind of like, oh, I could get another, go and get another 50 blue coin thingies. But instead, we're just going to try and... Get this goddamn switch that I've been trying to do for the last hour. So yeah, as, uh, owing to the to the fact that it's not a rock light. Eric, nothing's randomized. The layout isn't randomized in any way. Look, Ten gold sitting there. This guy's gonna mess up my day. The only good thing is when you do upgrade, you definitely feel it. Oh my god. There's that thing I was talking about. About running away from bullets. Oh, shoot. I'm just going to re restart now. This, this, this is the thing about, like I was saying before, it's the only part of like the combat and the movement I dislike. I'm trying to jump to that platform. If I get shot, I'm going down. I'm going down like, like a fighter jet. I'm just resetting the area, resetting my skills, resetting my health, resetting everything. Like, if you lost less resources on death or no resources on death, uh, ow. Like, if it was slightly more fine tuned in that regard, it'd be okay. Oh, God. No, don't see me. You're not supposed to see me. You're not supposed to face the right way. Face the right way. Okay. There's that platform for guys I was telling you about before. Oh, good. And I'm getting shot with a minigun. Jump over. Shoot. Huh. I don't think I can kill those guys in one shot before, so that's good. Yeah, I really do just kill those guys in one shot. That's awesome. Also, weirdly... I'm gonna just jump up and kill this thing. Weirdly, you've got a map, but it reshrouds itself. So I've explored this entire area, but for some reason it reshrouds itself every time you leave and come back. Let's just skip past that and shoot you. Skip past that. I'm not bothered about one. Ow! Ow! Ow, why did I jump into the fire? Yeah. This is... This is it. 
Well, I'm a little bit further. This is interesting. Oh man, so many enemies. There are so many enemies down there. Sometimes you collect health off of enemies when you kill them. It's not very much, but it does help a little bit, I guess. There's two more enemies down there. I just kind of want to run away and just be like, no. Run! Oh, there's there's an enemy standing right there! Oh my god! Come on! I didn't even see that one. Damn it. I've reached the lever and I'm gonna die. <laughs> pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Wait. Oh, I already got this one. Oh, damn it. Did I go the wrong way? Is it... What? Oh, there's another way to go. I've been going the wrong way this whole time. Ah, oh, poop. Okay. Ah, oh, poop. I think I might have been going the wrong way. Um, but yeah, those are, so those are my impressions of, of Foregone. It's a fun game. Um, there's some quirks to the gameplay. Um... Specifically, like, the loot and the progression and how much things cost and how much you lose when you die. Um, that, I think, could be tweaked a bit. Also, I would love it if they took out the thing where you just stop moving altogether when you get sh when you get hit. That would be fantastic. I would love that so much. Um, I'm going to continue to try and do this. Oh, come on. I'm going to continue to try and, and get this lever, but I am definitely going to end the video there. So thank you very much for watching. Um, we're doing more impression. Uh, we're doing more impressions videos, games that are out. We're doing more preview videos. Hope you stick around for them. Um, I don't quite kill that. Toodles.